but even they are taking. I I also know know their names. So if they are not keeping up this habit, bad habit, oh, from tomorrow, uh, from today, they should not attend our classes. And until they will not give up all these things, bad things, they should not attend our classes. You should know. You should know that to whom I am telling. If you will come tomorrow, at once I will oh, tell you to go out of. Agyan Kimiran Vasya Kyanan Jana Salakaya Chaturun Militam Jena Asmai Sri Gurave वंचा कल्पतरु भेष्ट कृपासिन रुद्धे वच पतितानं पावनेत्रु वैष्णवेभ्रोनु नमो महाबतन्नाय कृष्ण प्रेम अपदायते कृष्णाय कृष्ण चैतन्य नाम्ने बहुरत विषे गुरवे गौर चंद्राय राजकायी तदाले कृष्णाय कृष्ण भक्ताय तदभक्ताय नमो यं प्रप्रजन्तमनुपेतमुपेतप्रत्यं द्वैपायनो दिरहकातर्याजुहावो पुत्रे तितन्मयत्यातर्बो विनेदो तं सर्वोपोतरिदायम् तवई वास्मि तवई वास्मि नजीवा विद्या बिना इति विज्ञाय राधे अंगनाय माम चरणन्ति You should know that before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, there was bhakti, and that was Vaidhi bhakti. Sri Madhvacha Jaramanu, Vishnu Sami Nimpadi, all, they were Preaching by the bhakti. By bhakti, by the bhakti, by the bhakti, anyone can go to my kumta bha. And they can search here, Lakshmi Nara. By this bhakti, anyone cannot go to Kalu Vrindavan and search Radha Krishna Tantra. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu disappeared, he appeared in this pile. He gave inspiration in the heart of Siddha Rupa Goswami. And then Rupa Goswami established what Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wanted. Then world knew, oh, there is something Raganuga Bhakti by which we can go to Braj Vrindavan. And we can serve in four verses. Dasya, Sakta, Vasya, Sampadha. Especially, oh, Raga Nuga Bhakti came, but especially Rupa Nuga. There is some difference between Raga Nuga and, and, and Rupa Nuga. All Rupanuga are all Raganuga, but all Raganuga are not Rupanuga. Understand? What is clear? All Raganuga are Rupanuga, but all Rupanuga are not Raganuga. Why? 
all Raganuga can follow Rasa Sakha Rasa. That is their Mathur. But Mahaprabhu, uh, Rupa Goswami Palvan, Rupanuga, oh, one of the highest topic of Praj Prem, that is called Gopi Prem. And in Gopi Prem also Radha Darsha. This is Radha Darsha. This is the uh, Rupanuga. And this is the aim and object of any Raganuga or in the devotees in the line of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I should follow this. I have come to inspire these things in your heart. Who are Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? And why he descended to this world? We will explain these things. Can you, Prabhu, Maharaj? Ten hours. Fifteen minutes. More. Not more than that. If you cannot stand up, then you can sit. Anywhere, even Lord Brahma 
He is hankering for this prayer. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is so merciful. He is giving it to everyone freely. He is giving to Jagai and Madhais, to Patita Pavan. He is giving and distributing this praying now Sankutan to each and every living entity with this special quality. So Mahaprabhu, he had some greed. Shri Krishna had some greed. Greed to taste these things. So this greed, this is really the key. This greed is what is driving force. Krishna has greed for rafts. He has greed to taste. As Vishnu, he has greed to taste beer rafts. And so he is calling for Yogamaya to arrange some leela in which Jaya and Vijaya become cursed by the Kumaras. So that he can, they can descend to this world and he can fight with them in battle. And so they appear in three successive births as demons in order to fight with him and he takes this Viraras. So some greed for Viraras has appeared in Vishnu and he comes to taste it in this way. When he appears as Vishnu to kill uh, Hiranyakashipu, so after killing Hiranyakashipu, when Prahlad is sitting on his lap and he is looking at the face of Prahlad, he sees that Prahlad is tasting some very sweet rafts, some matsali about. And he is also tasting it, but actually Prahlad is tasting it more. And the Srimadev is feeling like, in my previous manifestations, I have not had a father. Huh? I have come from the nose of Brahma, I have come from this pillar, so I have not tasted this matsali about. So in the future, Krishna always appears as the son of the mother and father, and he takes this Bhaktasamya. Thank you. Thank you. Shri Krishna is Rasik Shekha. He is the taster of all different 
different types of ras. Therefore, the biggest ras is in himself. Therefore, how can Sri Krishna taste himself? In the form of Sri Krishna, he cannot taste himself. Guruji gives the example, like a pond of nectar, how can it taste itself? Or a doll made of sugar, if he licks himself, cannot taste himself. Therefore, how Sri Krishna can taste himself with the embodiment of ras, and Krishna is Rasik Shekha. Therefore, in the form of Rasik Shekha Sri Krishna, his desire to taste Ras was not complete because he could not taste himself. Therefore, Sri Srimadhi Radhika, she does Madhanakya Bhavamayi. She is the embodiment of Mahabhav. Therefore, because she is the topmost embodiment of Prema, she completely can taste Sri Krishna. Therefore, Sri Krishna was thinking, how can I steal the complexion and the mood of Sri Radhika in order to taste myself? Therefore, for that reason, Sri Krishna went to Dwarka to put Sri Mani Radhika in the fire of separation. And when her heart was in a completely melted stage, then Krishna entered her and became Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Therefore, the main principal reason of the cause of the descent of Sri Krishna in the form of Sri Sajinanda and Godahari, that is threefold. Prem Ras Nejas Koritya Swadan Rad Man Bhakti Rog Koritya Prachadan. But the primary reason is Krishna wanted to taste Ras. Therefore, Siradhaya Pranya Mahima Kitisovana Eva Swadhyogina Buddha Miniruma Kitisovana Eva Sokyam Chasyat Madhanu Bhavata Kitisho Vetti Lovat Tat Bhavat Samajani Satyagarva Sindhu Hayindu. It is for that reason that Sri Krishna appeared in the womb, the ocean like womb of Mother Sachi in the form of Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Why? First, Sri Radhaya Pranayamahima. What is the glories of Sri Radha's Prem? Sri Gurudev explains that Krishna, he's Prem, he has Prem. He has the Sai Prem. Because Prem is reciprocal. Krishna loves the devotees, and the devotees love Sri Krishna. Sarunam Radhyam Mayam, Sarunam Radhyam Payam, Matam Dete Manajapi, Naham Tanya Janati. Sri Narayan described to Navasa, I always think of the devotee, and the devotee always thinks of me. Therefore, Krishna has Prem. But Gurudev described, his Prem is divided into billions and billions of devotees. Krishna, is, Krishna he gives himself to whoever, whichever devotee comes before him. Therefore, Krishna's Prem is not Ekanishta. Krishna's Prem is Bhavanishta, because he has Nishta, or relationship, with millions and millions of devotees. Gurudev says, even when Sri Krishna is playing his flute at Bhamsi Bhatt, calling the gopis for Raslila, can Sri Krishna forget Prahlad? Can he forget Vasudev and Devaki and Mathura? Guruma said, what to speak of them? Can he forget even a devotee in this world? Oh, hey Krishna, Amitua Nityadas, Tumara Charana Chorya, Har Hoya Saranas. Even a devotee who in this world chants one time the name of Krishna with complete surrender, Krishna cannot forget them also. Therefore, Krishna is Bhavanishta because he is divided to many, many, many devotees. He gives himself completely to each devotee. But Srimadhi Radhika, she gives herself only to Sri Krishna. But Krishna gives himself to everyone. Therefore, if you take one kilo of brim and you cut it into millions of pieces, then there's only a fraction there. But Srimadhi Radhika, her brim is not divided not towards her even so-called husband or her parents-in-law, no one. She is Ekrishta. Her prem is completely concentrated on Sri Krishna, therefore her prem is very, very large, therefore Krishna is completely controlled by that prem. So Sri Krishna was thinking, what is the prem of Srimadhi Radhika? I cannot understand. Then secondly, Sakyam Chasyat Maranubhava, what happiness she feels when she serves me and sees me. Krishna is Bhagavan, he feels a certain type of happiness because Krishna is Ananda Suru. Therefore, Krishna is made of ecstasy. But still, when Sri Krishna sees the ecstasy of Srimadhi Radhika, he becomes astonished. It said that when Sri Radhika, she sees the dark night, she runs to embrace it. When she sees the tamal tree, she runs to embrace it. When she sees a peacock feather or a kunja belly, she becomes absorbed in ecstatic emotions. And Sri Krishna says, I definitely feel for Srimadhi Radhika, but I cannot feel like that. What happiness 
She feels when she serves me and cannot understand. If a Christian developed a greed also, how can I taste my own sweetness? It's described by Sivuka Goswami Pad. One time Sri Krishna was walking past again three wishes. Three wishes. What is the glories of Radharani's prayer? Yes. Second. Second. He's trying to understand what happiness Radharani feels in his seva. And thirdly, what is my own sweetness? Sokyam chasyat Madhuran Bhava. Krishna is trying to understand what happiness she feels in my service. No? Second Kriya. What is the second Krishna is thinking how I can taste myself. Yeah. Krishna is thinking how I can taste my own sweetness. Krishna is full of his, full of beauty. So Krishna thought, 
What is the love? How deep is that love that overpowers me? I want to know. <coughs> so this was his first read. Sri Radaya Parya Mahima. Then, next one. Jainad Bhutama Guruma. He wanted to know about his own sweetness. How did this come about? One day, Sri Krishna was contemplating to himself. And as he was contemplating, two irreconcilable contradictions came within his mind. First of all, he thought, all flavor comes from me. All sound, all taste, all beauty, everything comes from me. So if all of these things come from me, then who will give happiness to me? If everything comes from me. But I realized that my ears are hankering to hear the sound of Radhika's voice. My eyes are hankering to see the beauty of her form. My skin is hankering to feel the happiness of her touch. So by all senses, she attracts me. So I think that she must be hundreds of times more qualified than me. Shatagun, hundreds of times more qualified than I am. So if I am the source of everything, how is it possible that she can be more qualified than me? This was the first contradiction. But then, another astonishing and irreconcilable contradiction came into the heart of Krishna. He thought, when Radhika hears the sound of the wind blowing through the bamboo trees at Govardhan, it makes a sound. And hearing that sound, she thinks that I am calling her on the flute, and she runs towards the breeze. When Radhika sees a tree, a tamal tree, she thinks that it's me and embraces the tamal tree and thinks, oh, now my life is successful. If Radhika tastes some tumble that has been chewed by me, my remnants, then tasting this, she becomes completely, almost unconscious in praying. So Krishna realized, although I am attracted to Radhika's form, Radhika's taste, Radhika's sound, Radhika's touch, she becomes more maddened than I do not even in, connect, in, in relation to me, but in relation to things that are even similar to me, like the sound of the, of the breeze, the color of a tamal tree, the taste of my remnants, and so on. So, on the one hand, I find that she must be hundreds of times more qualified than I am. So, which should mean that I become more maddened by seeing her, than she becomes maddened at seeing me. But the opposite is true. She becomes hundreds of times more maddened on seeing me, hearing me, and so on, than I do when I meet with her. And so this is the second irreconcilable contradiction. As Krishna began to ponder this, then he realized something. He thought, there must be something about me that I don't know. Something that she knows. And how does she know it? He realized that beauty oh, is... Oh, you to find Radhaya Pranamahina, and then this, oh, you are for long period to come to the point. What is the glory of Radhaya Pranamahina? So, coming back to the first point, Sri Radhaya Pranamahina, Radhika, he thinks that when we are together, at that time, Radhika, she becomes, her brain is so high, she has madana kimahabhav, praying by chitra, many moods. She can faint, crying, Krishna, where are you? Krishna, where are you? Even when she is sitting in my lap. I don't have such praying. So, when Krishna meets together with Radharani, he sees that she becomes oh, completely absorbed. This is called the Swasambhetya Dasha of Radhika's Madhanakya Mahabhav. So Sambhita Dasha means that Radhika's Anurag becomes the object of its own experience. In that stage, who is the object of her love and who is the lover, she forgets. And only the intense, intense taste of that love remains. So that is called the Swasambhita Dasha of Radhika's Madhanakya Mahabhav. Krishna cannot understand it. Radhika herself said, Na so Ramana, na hamaramani, dui manu manupav peshla jani. It is not that he is my beloved and I am his lover. I completely forget everything. So seeing this, not being able to understand it, 
Shri Krishna thought, I want to know what is the Mahima, the greatness and the deepness of Radhika's love. Then second point. Second point? Right. We describe how I am only taking the remnant of Srila Krishna's Tavaraj Goswami, who directly explained by these two irreconcilable uh, contradictions. Krishna realized there's something in him that he doesn't know. And he also realized that beauty is in the eye of the beholder. If any devotee sees Krishna, they think he's beautiful. But if Kamsa will see Krishna, then how does he feel? He thinks that he's not beautiful. So how one sees beauty, how one relishes sweetness, depends on how much love you have. So who has the most love? Radhika. So Krishna said to himself, Hey, prema dware nitya, radhika ekali, amara madhurya mrita, ashwade sokale. Only radhika, by the greatness of her love, which is the first thing, she has the power to fully taste my sweetness. So there's a connection between the first and second one. Without knowing the greatness of Radharani's love, then Krishna will not have the ability to realize his own sweetness. So Krishna was thinking, how, when Radhika sees me, how does she see me? So in this description, Krishna asked Kavaraj Goswami, he said, Krishna was thinking, Oh, Akshan Matam Palamidam Nakaram Vidama Sakya Pasunanu Viveshara Purvayasyai In the stage of Purvarag, before I met together with Radharani, when in the morning I used to go into the forest surrounded by my friends playing on the flute, and she was in any hiding place, and looking at me, and I used to look back at her. I know how I felt when I looked at her, but how she felt when she saw me at that time in the stage of Purvarag, I don't know. Then Krishna was thinking, At the time of Raslila, when I disappeared, and gopis were weeping in separation, and they remembered how in the evening I would return to the village and they would look at me, but then what happened? Their eyes would blink and they would curse Lord Brahma. Brahma, you don't know how to create, you're not Rasi. Why did you make gopis with eyelids? How eager they were to see me in that mood. So when Krishna comes back at the end of the day, this is called the uh, special type of uh, meeting. And so, Krishna's thinking, how? Radhika sees me in different times, different kinds of meeting. Then Krishna thought, Gopyascha Krishna Mupalabhya Tirada Vishtam Yat Prakshane Vishnu Pachma Pritam Shopanti At that time, when I left Vrindavan and then I came to Kurukshetra, all the gopis came to Kurukshetra. When Radharani saw me then, how did she see me? This is called Samridhi Man Sambhog. When he comes home in the evening from grazing cows, that is called Sampanna Sambhog. And when he eats, that is a Purvara. So Krishna was thinking, Radhika saw me in so many different ways, through so many different types of love. How did she relish my sweetness at that time? I want to know. Then, thirdly, So kyam chasya madanubhavata kevisham vaitilopat. But not clear. Just like this, you can see the sun by the sunlight. 
In the same way, Krishna was thinking, how I can taste my complete beauty? I cannot taste it by taking shelter of the mood of any other devotee. Only if I take shelter of the mood of Srimadhi Radhika, then I can taste my beauty completely. Therefore, that was the second desire. How I can taste my own complete sweetness. And thirdly, what happiness. What anubhav, what realization of happiness Shimadi Radhika has in my service and my darshan, how I can taste that. Therefore, we are hearing that Sri Krishna, he has a certain type of happiness as Bhagavan, but that is not comparable to the happiness of the devotees, especially the ecstasies of Shimadi Radhika. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu tried to taste them, we hear in the, Gamb in the Gambira, sometimes Mahaprabhu would come 20 feet long, sometimes he would become compressed like a pumpkin or a tortoise. We never hear of Shimadi Radhika becoming like that, because she has so much power to tolerate the feelings of love for Sri Krishna. Therefore, Krishna thought, when I, become like, when I taste something, Krishna has a limit, up to Mahabhav. The Shimadi Radhika, her prem, her happiness has no limit, because she goes up to Madhana to Mahabha. So what happiness she feels at that time when she serves me, Krishna was thinking, how I can taste that? The only way I can taste these three desires is to completely take the mood and the complexion of Shimadi Radhika. Some people might say, well, Krishna could have taken the mood. What is the need of taking the complexion of Shimadi Radhika? And Asya the Gorgamaj described, every mood has a color. For example, in material life, when you become angry, you become red. When you become worried, what's he thinking? Then what's he speaking about? Then you look like Gurudev's complexion. <laughs> when you become fearful, you become white. Therefore, Madanaki Mahabhav has a color, and that color is not different than the bhav. Therefore, only taking the bhav of Shimadi Radhika, Krishna would not be completely satisfied. Therefore, he also took the complexion of Shimadi Radhika. Therefore, for these three desires, these are the primary reasons of the descent of Sri Krishna in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So this morning, Guru was saying, Pujapada Ashrama had asked the question, well, Krishna could taste everything in Goloka Vrindavan. What need did he come to descend to this world? And Guru Maharaj said, because he is very, very merciful. Guru Maharaj one time explained, even when we go to a long place for a picnic, the main reason you still could go there is to eat. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came here. His main reason was not to give mercy. His main reason was to taste these three greeds. But as a concomitant factor, he distributed that mercy to everyone. Therefore, Krishna was thinking, for a long time, when, since the last day of Lord Brahma, I had not shown this prem to the world. Therefore, we are hearing from Srila Gurudev, many, many incarnations came. Since that time, Brahma, uh, Matsya, Kurma, Nasringadev, they came and they gave something. Even Sri Krishna came and showed that prem that did not distribute it. Only in a very enclosed circle in Vrindavan, then that prem was distributed. But who could catch that prem? In Vrindavan, pretty much all those devotees were southern cities anyway. They were how the Jews of the world could taste that happiness of Brother Prem. That was the second reason of the descent of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sometimes I remember when Srila Gurudev would first preach around the world, then there was so much opposition. Oh, why is he talking about Radhanurabhaki? Why is he talking about the shelter and the glories of Srimadhi Radhika? And Guru Mahaj said, because Radhanurabhaki is only practiced in the Gaudiya Sampradaya. If you don't want to hear it, maybe you're in the wrong Sampradaya, you should go down to South India and take initiation and see Ramanuja Sampradaya. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and the Bhakti he distributed, what is that? That is Radhanurabhaki. Which type of Raghunuga Bhakti? Those that follow the Ragatmik Jan, Isti Sarisika Raga Parama Veshita The Rag or the attachment for Krishna that is present in the eternal associates of the Bhagavan, of Bhagavan that is called Ragatmik. What you speak of Shimadi Radhika, Lalita, and the Gopis, the Sakas, Nanda Baba, and Yasoda. Ragatmik Bhakti is also present in Karuma. Ragatmik Bhakti is also present in Jai Vijay, Ragatmik Bhakti is present in the associates of all the incarnations. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never came to distribute that type of Ragatmik Bhakti. <coughs> Mahaprabhu said, Ragatmik Shrestha Pradipasi Jan, Tala Suri Lukta Hoi Karu. 
Bhagavan. Amo Imadru's instructions to Sri Sanat Goswami. Imadru said, of all types of Ragam Nikbhaktis, the topmost Ragam Nikbhakti is found within the residence of Sri Vrindavan. And whoever hears of that and develops a greed to follow in the footsteps of those Ragatmik devotees, they are called Sri Ragamugas. Anugaman, those who follow Anugaman, the Rag of the eternal associates in Goa Vrindavan, they are called Raga Muga. <coughs> Therefore, the second primary reason of the descent of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was not just to spread Harinam Sankirtan, not just to get people to give up eating onion and garlic. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's main reason for the descent in this world was to distribute Raga Muga Bhakti that followed in the footsteps of the bridge Vasis. And of all the bridge Vasis, who is the topmost? That is Srimadhi Radhika. Therefore, to follow the maid servants or to follow those who serve the feet of Srimadhi Radhika, that is the main, main, main reason of the descent of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. There are some. He forgot who he was. He thought, who am I 
a prince watching a, dra a dramatist playing the role of a coward boy on the stage? Or am I that coward boy on the stage doing this performance? I don't know. But when I see the beauty of this sharp complexion boy with peacock feather in his hair, I impetuously wish to embrace him, just like Shimati Radhika. So in the course of Radha and Krishna's pastimes, Krishna felt many times the desire to know the depth of Radhika's love and to taste his own sweetness and to experience the happiness that she feels, but he could not. Krishna Ramaduri Krishna Upajoya Lok Samyak Ashwati Nahe Rahi Manek Chok It is said that Krishna's beauty, his sweetness is so sweet. He has four Maduris that no incarnation has. Venu Maduri, the sweetness of his good plane. Lila Maduri, the sweetness of his Lila. Prema Maduri, the sweetness of the love of his associates. And Rupa Maduri, the sweetness of his form. These are exclusive to Krishna, no one else has them. And when see Krishna sees a reflection of his own beauty, or someone simply imitating him, then a greed to taste that awakens in his heart. But Samyak Ashwadite Nahi Rahimanik Chod, because he cannot fully taste it, then his heart feels some distress. So Gurudev gave an example. Once there was a man in a boat, and he was thinking, how deep is the river here? So he took a stick. So he took one stick, and he began to put the stick in the water like this, and he, but he couldn't feel the bottom. So he reached over a bit further, and a bit further, and then he slipped and he fell in the river, head first. So like this, Krishna was like that. Srila so Gurudev explained, he was trying to see how deep is radicals and how deep is it. And he became so absorbed in that endeavor, that he had to appear in this world as Satchinandan Gohari. So you Satchinandan Gohari, please! <laughs>
there are so many regions that Krishna came in the form of Sachinandan Gaudari. Jata Jatahi Dharmasya Blanir Bhavati Bharata Abhutthanam Matharvasya Tatatmanam Sri Jamneham Paritranaya Sadhunan Vinasaya Cha Dushkita Dharmasang Sthapnarthaya Sambhava Before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took birth, the Condition or situation of India was very, very bad, especially in Bengal. All used to eat meat, drink, even they used to give sacrifice of a man taking Garwana, Bhaja Bhang of him and keeping blood in the uh, skull of a dead person, they were uh, worshipping in God like Kali and Durga and others. Even they used to ma give Mary to Cat and she cat. One cat his, she cat his. And lakhs and lakhs dollars used to spend for this. A big box, band, elephant and uh, camels and all by a good procession. Drinking, they used to make a procession and they used to go there and to marry his villa. Well, had to see. <laughs> and thousand and thousand persons or used to pay for that thing. Eh? Uh, meat, eggs, wine, and <coughs> Brahmins, Karna Bhakti, Vishnu Bhakti, Krishna Bhakti, they used to oh, meditate about Brahma or anything else. Not Bhakti was there in this way. Yuga Dharma came, but you should know. Yuga Dharma was name preaching. But this name preaching, easily a Vaitachar, Incarnation of Krishna can do it. So Krishna is not needed to come. So real dharma was God of this rag nuga bhakti. See, to establish the yuga dharma. Advaita Charji can his Sadashi Vishnu. In any way, he can give something that Gopi prayed, that I have drunk. But not only this, Sadashi so Prem, Ekala Krishna can give. Only one Krishna. So at that time, the period came for Jukta established. Also, at that time, you know, Advaita Chara was seeing all this condition of world. And then he took Tulsi leaf and offered to Salagram Shila. And he did a promise that, O Prabhu, O Krishna, if you will not come yourself, and establish 
this, oh, this high class of rag, Raganiva Bhakti. Then I will cut all the heads of all persons. So, it was not necessary that when Krishna will come to this world as the form of, in the form of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But he decided to fulfill the desire of Advaitacharya, I must come. Oh, this. It may be that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would have come in the last of Kali Yuga. But he came first in this period, in the beginning of Kali and that is why he preached everywhere Krishna name. Not only Krishna Prem. Krishna Prem in the third of Krishna Prem of all names. And he Paraila Sabhara. The specialty is of his name preaching. What? With love and affection. So, this was second reason. And third reason, oh, more prominent. Anarpit charing chirat karunya vatarina. Samarpaitam unnato jal rasan sa bhakti siya. Hari hapudar sundar yu kadamba sandipita. Sada ridaya kandari spurasya siya. For long, long time, what has not been given? In a Brahma day, after one day of Brahma, before Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he gave, but now so many things have been but turned out. All has forgotten this. So, out of mercy, he came to what? Give Unnat Ujjwal Rasan Swab Bhakti Sriya. What is Unnat Ujjwal Ras? Parkiyamur. But Parkiyamur, what is in Radhika, it cannot be given. So what? Unnat Rasa Swabhakti Sriyam. Swabhakti means Swa means Radhika. Radhika's mood and its Radhika mood's beauty. What is that? Beauty like a creeper. If a creeper has no lips and flowers, no beauty. So in a creeper, if there is, there are so many green leaves covered and so beautiful flowers are in there, and especially manjaris. And when air comes and then manjari what do? Oh, this is the sweet taste of that manjari. That move. What is that? Srimati Radhika's. Uh, lady devotees, who especially Rup Manjari mood only. So, to distribute this Raganuga mood, that is the mood of Rup Manjari, as you can only accept, uh, uh, not more than that. All the jivas had. He is telling, Oh, Nam Prem Pracharite Ehi Avatar. 
ये वो सत्य इट इज ट्रू दैट चैतन्य महाप्रभु केम टू प्रीच नाम एंड प्रेम एंड ऑल्सो ही केम टू डिस्ट्रीब्यू दैट गोपी मूव रूप मंजरी वो इट इज ट्रू बट ओ इज आर बहिरंग These are not internal. What is that internal? पूर्वे जैन पृथ्वी बारे भार हरि बारे कृष्ण उत्तीर्ण हिला शास्त्र के प्रचारे स्वयं भगवान कर्म नहे भार हरण स्थिति करता विष्णु करण जगत भाव यानी कृष्णदास का विराज क्वेश्चन वेन कृष्ण केम टू दिस वर्ल्ड to take the burden of prithvi by how oh killing so many demons so many demons in mahabharat in boyhu putna akasu bakasu and so many in dwarka oh so many demons and in battle oh both sides all demons were killed and in the end in dwarka when he came brahma came to him oh your your uh, purpose of coming to this world has been finished please come to return back to your kolo pindava and in the way you should also bheji tavar brahma lo please don't i have finished all these things but yet something and what that is oh dwarka pradumna anirudha satyaki and all my jagvans are very powerful even demi gods cannot if it can if after my going they will be remain here then that will be more burden on this earth so i thought it reason how to take them away so reason is coming now that durbasa and other rishis have given cause that from the ombox samba a musal will come and that will be the reason of this for so when krishna heard oh we should give up this dwarka and come to an secret place and they went to prabhas and there they did archan and puja brahman vaishnav and so many fire sacrifices but in the end they took naruvan <laughs> and then what we can they began to fight each other even they wanted to kill krishna and baladev but what we can they were finished and krishna also uh, an arrow of yeah hunter hunter he also left the thing it is written outwardly in mahabharat but you should know <coughs> that it was magic magic of krishna to want to take his own associate associate to go to vrindavan and do those who came from swarg heaven they should send be sent to even and those who have come from vaikuntha oh they should return back to vaikuntha and those who have come from golo vrindavan they should come with me there so strictly he did so so he are telling that this karya action action to kill demons and to take burden of this world is not really the 
activity of Krishna. Because we find Krishna. He can do it. He can do it by Vishnu. He can do. And that time who was Vishnu? At the time of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. But Krishna gave Avatar Kal when in the Kali Yuga. When time came to, to come to this world, descend to this world, all incarnation of Krishna, Ramchandra, Vishinkadev, Narayan, and all Bamandev, uh, and all came in with Krishna in his heart. That not there. And when he, Krishna is killing demons, oh, Vishnu is killing, not Krishna. Vishnu Dare, Krishna Kare, Asura Sandha. But why he came? Raj Marg Bhakti. Loke Karite Prasharan, Rasik Sekhar Krishna Param Karu. We have explained all these things. Aidi Hetu Haite Krishna Uchu, Krishna Vicharudvam, as for the Gyanet in Ahimo, Jagat Misri, oh, especially you should know also that. Bhakti Vedanta, Siddha Bhakti Vedanta, Swami Maharaj is Rupanu Vaishnava. No? Rupanu Vaishnava. He is not Bhakti Vakta, Rupanu Vakta. Not only Raganu Vakta, but Rupanu Vakta. He has not come to preach only name. <coughs> His called leaders, they know only. His glorification that he has preached everywhere in the world and he has established preaching center, but not this is his glory. His glory what? For what reason Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came? Only to give this is Gauravan. Unna Taraja Sal from Bhakti Siya. For this he has come. You should know. Anyone can tell that he was a Sakha. Sakha. Friend of Krishna, like, don't think like him. In all Guru, Guru Parampara, or in Gauriya Parampara, all may servant of Radhika. So he must be a maid servant of Radhika. Now, Now, Sri Lakrishnadhar Kaminar Goswami is telling that Sri Lakrishnadhar has written in his culture, in his slopes, that Radhika Prem Guru Ami Sishana Krishna thinking. Right? Radhika is my Prem Guru. And Prem Prem or clear, clearly for this. Ami Sishanat, I am disciple. Srimati Radhika teaches me how to sing and how to dance. So Radhika, he Prem Guru Arpiti. So Krishna Sahai. Guru, Radhika is Guru, Krishna is disciple. Pantho, very near friend. Priyasi, most beloved. So, Srimati Radhika is most beloved. Shishya, Guru, Sakhi, Dasi. All moods in highest in Srimati Radhika. So, 
Professor Das Kaviraj Goswami, he said, what I am going to tell you, the reason of Krishna coming in the form of Sachi Nandan Kaurkhari, it is very, very hidden, very confidential. So I should not tell to general person, familiar, adjust all these things. So I should not tell. But in the next moment he thinks, if I will not tell this to world, then this high class of Raganuga frame will be finished from me. So I must tell. And also he thought, I should tell it in such a way, hidden way, that my telling will be successful and those who are moved, moved means fully, they can understand all these things. In such a way I should tell. You know that uh, you know, camel, if there are sweet fruits, they will not take. What they will take? Hard one. You know, car, pro. There will sit my go, they will not take. What they will take? Nimrush. So, I should tell you, no harm. Because those who are camel and like, no, oh, they will not take this rush. They will avoid. And we see, I feel, only crows and camels like four persons. Why Narayan Maharaj is preaching all these things? <laughs> but I am thinking like this. My, my vichar, my thinking is like this. If you will not tell all, they should tell by the bhakti. Even the disciples of Srila Bhakti Siddhan Swasati Goswami have. And what to tell the disciples of Srila Bhakti Vedan Swami Maharaj? All the preach by the word. But I should tell this alone because it will be lost forever. Lost forever. Lost forever. Like after Rukh Swami, this Parthiya mood was strong. Because Jeeva Goswami has written in his book something. He has written for his Anadikari sister, those who are not qualified, that gopis were of Swakiya mood, not Parthiya mood. But Vishwanath of Vartithaku came. And again he established with a very strong faith. And then we are knowing now that Vishwanath of Vartithaku was not a failure, the Kandas knew all these facts. So, <clears throat> I am also nishang, without fear and preaching all these things, and my disciples also, they are preaching. They should preach by the word. So now, <clears throat> I am telling the very deep thinking of this. Krishna Das Kaviraj is Goswami. Oh, Krishna is thinking in his mind. In this world, I am Rasas Karu, embodiment of a Ras. In this world, I see that all by chanting, remembering my three past times, they realize praying. In this world, there is none who is thousands times 
more uh, well, who can give me happiness to me not clear in this world anyone has is not so much qualified that he can give me pleasure i can give them all but none can give me but only one can give me pleasure who is thousand times more superior in frame that person can give me i think only alone shrimati radhika is that kind of person. oh my qualities are asamod but oh i want to clear this second um, greed of krishna radhika ya pranay mahima kitiso it is clear radhika ya pranay mahima kitiso va matiya saukhan chaasa madan bhavata my oh very beautiful this form my best quality my sweet singing and the sweet smile four kinds of madhuri helu madhuri rup madhuri kul madhuri kul madhuri and lila madhuri anparna valli radhika oh in twice this is said by enjoying all these sweet things how radhika becomes happy so krishna wants to know if these three desires <coughs> in second that told that radhika <coughs> has prem sneh man pranay rag anurag bhav mahabhavsam this has also gopi has also but more than that rudh ati rudh valli lalita and visaka radhika sakti but mata nakya bhav she became totally mad radhika and then jal prajalpa tipyon mat comes in radhika krishna we see that krishna never enjoyed all these things tipyon mat prajalpa jalpa he could not be mad in radhika prem but radhika was mad totally and jal prajal tipyon mat so many things radhika was in the lack of krishna even but think it oh that is helpful that is so krishna can not have this thing he wanted to realize all these things now acha the initial task i mean you
He's telling Krishna, but when I think about me, how I'm beautiful, how many, how my seat files and four kinds of Madhurya, then I think, or something, Ulta, Sripari, opposite, I think. What? Oh, there is something in me that it makes Radhika mad. Jeep don't mad and all this. So what? That is, I am Vishaya. Object of Vishaya. And Radhika only, highest top of Asaya Vikra. She knows all this. So I must take her beauty and intrinsic mood, that is Madanak Kamao. And then, in Gambhira, I will take sannyas and go to south, and there I will meet Raramananda, who is Vishakha. Vishakha knows all the things of Radhika, both her same light. So, Radhika knows uh, no all. I will have to make this Siksha Guru. And then from Siksha Guru Vishaka, I will learn all these modes of Radhika. And then coming to Jagannathuri and Gambhira, I will taste all these melodies with Raramananda and Sarutamoda. That is why Chaitanya Krishna took the form of Sachinandan Gaudhari and in this world. Gaudhari! We have one announcement for the day after tomorrow. There are going to be initiations at the house where Srila Gurudev is staying at 9 o'clock in the morning. So the devotees who will be receiving initiations or who desire to receive either Harinam or Diksha, Gayatri Mantra initiation, they have to register their names with Brajanath Prabhu or Madhav Maharaj or Mukunda Prabhu. And they have to also be, uh, get the approval of any senior devotee who knows them. And uh, they have to come to Srila Gurudev's house with a, a flower offering and they have to also have some fruits and some Lakshmi offerings and they have to come there by 9 o'clock in the morning, the day after tomorrow. Hare Krishna.